Hey y'all, Rhonda here. Are you ready to work on a project with me? I hope so. Well, I had, I need to fix this light over here. Oh, speaking of lights, I need to fix that other one. I know, I know. Let me see here. Let me just plug it in. Let's see if we can make this work. So how is everybody doing? Are you surviving the cold? All right, let's see if this will turn on for the first time, on the first time. No. I don't know what it's what this lamp is having PMS or something. I hold it down. Sometimes I do it. Oh, see, there it comes on. Okay. Oh, let there be light. Um, I have these two dies. Oh, I'm wobbling here. That uh, from Crafters Companion. No, from Elizabeth Craft. Let me grab these out of here. So you can see what they look like. Let's see, we're not going to use that one. So where's the other one? Really? Okay, this one. What is it called? Uh, we don't know. Largest die, Elizabeth Craft. I don't know what it's called. Oh, well, it's 1959 book box. So I guess maybe uh, 1959 is just the number. It's a book box. This is what the um, packaging looks like. All right. We have this and then this one in the store, so I'm making some samples. But for the one that we're doing right now, um, I'm just using the one. And then I have the big magnetic sheets and I put them on there. And with something like this, with Crafters Companion and um, what's the other brand? Like Tonic. A lot of times I will cut out the pieces, all the pieces, just to see what everything does. And kind of what you can make with it because you, you know a lot of times you just don't know like this one there's you know you can make a little book plate a little frame with it but there's two dies that actually makes that so that being said let's get busy I went ahead trying to be a good girl see if it works um cut out a bunch of stuff oh and if you saw one of my last videos let me get you right here um the HP sprocket which is a little um picture printer and it prints little pictures like this, little five by, or no, 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 three by twos, two by threes. And they're stickers. So this young lady, this beautiful lady right there, has a birthday this weekend. And I thought, oh God, I need to make her a gift, which we have some other stuff for. But I wanted to do this with pictures of Kate and AJ, AJ, my daughter. So I cut out the base. I cut out the box part. I did it in white. Because this is the paper collection. It's a, um, I think it's a lawn fawn maybe. So I cut out the base. Like I said, these are all dies. So I cut out this, and this is a matting die. So I cut these out. So I did them in different colors. I wanted to do fun, and I wanted to match some of these stickers, the friends. But anyway, so I thought that was a really good, good match. But. You know, BFF, best of friends, true friends, joined at the hip, friends till the end, you and me, pals, best buds. Anyway, I just thought that would be great. And then here's some, like, just fun stickers here, too. So we're going to see where this takes us. Um, I was going to do it by hand, and uh, anyway, that's that's what the dies are for, right? Um, so I cut these out. This is some little frames. These two are little sticker frames actually there's the middle and then the outer frame um, for the sprocket so I got a couple of those we're gonna see about using them Put those over there and um, so my intention is we're gonna make it a little accordion book and then this is the box that holds it so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and like I said if it works out half as good in my head as it does on real life then we're golden all right, so I cut out several of these, and that's just, you know, up to you as far as how big you want your book to be. Um, I cut out one-inch strips. Are they one-inch? Half-inch. They're half-inch, no. Okay, one-inch. Sorry. One-inch strips, scored them down the middle, folded them really well with the bone folder, and then I'm going to miter the edges. And then what we're going to do is glue these and I'm using 110 pound cardstock on this because I want it to be really sturdy so we'll glue one here okay and then we're gonna glue let me think 
No, no, no. We're going to glue one here. Let's see, I want it to open up. If I can get it started here, and then we'll glue another one on this side. So anyway, when you pull it and it all opens up, it will open up like this. I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed. All right, then we'll print some pictures. I printed some um, kind of funky flowers or Tim Holtz funky flowers for the front of the, what did I do with my, okay, it's here somewhere. Um, for the cover, I had picked it out and I thought I had cut it. I did, but I don't know what I did with it. Anyway, for the cover of the book, oh, right here, haha. <laughs> Just stay with me. So this is going to be the front of the little book box. And then we're going to put some flowers and we'll put some stickers and stuff on there. And um, make it really cute. I did this for the back. I need to do one for the spine. Probably for the inside also. Let me put that to the side. So when um, I cut this out, I didn't check. It's There's actually a grain of paper, which most of you know. And if you, you can kind of test it. You take a big piece of paper and you try to fold it one way and it's pretty stiff and then if you fold it the other way and it, and it doesn't mind going that way that'll kind of tell you how to cut your die uh, or cut your paper with your die um, and I was using scrap so I just grabbed it and went and I don't want this to crack so I think I am going to one of these have, spritz this with a little bit of water before I fold it because that just loosens the fibers just a little bit. Let me do this one. Because like I said, I just don't want it to crack. And as thick as this is, there's a possibility it will. Okay. A bone folder. All right. So this is, it cuts it out and then it scores. I don't know if you can see the score marks there and the score marks there. This one didn't, didn't have a score mark. I don't know what the deal is there. It's supposed to. Maybe it's just my die. All right, let me fold this. Oh, right there. And I'm going to use my bone folder and make that crisp. It'll just lay better. And then we're gonna do this one. This is gonna be the spine. And bone folder. Like I said, it just makes it much more crisp. See where we're going okay and then this this is a little closure and this one like I said the score mark didn't didn't happen but there we go all right so there's the little like the book part and then we have the box so like I said, these are all scored. So let me go and um, fold all these and press them with my bone folder and then I will be back. Okay, so I used my bone folder, folded all this in, so this is real straightforward. Okay, have your little tabs on both ends. You're just gonna bring this together. I'm gonna put glue right there. Bring this together, make sure you're good and square. And you're going to do that on all corners. Glue those. Okay. So I'm going to use wet glue. So it's going to take just a second. So let me glue these and then I'll be right back. Okie dokie, cow pokey. All right. So we have our little box. And that's actually going to get glued in here, the bottom there. And this will fold over. And you have a little book box. Isn't that cute? We're going to put this aside for now. Um, I'm going to work on it just. I, I, we're going to work on the main part because um, I'm sure I'll cut strips that will go on the edges here because these will show and then we'll decorate the front while I have the, the piece for the front. I need to round these corners and then for the back but I need something for the spine too because I like it all covered and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the edges quite yet. All right but let's work on the main part and let's do the hingy thing. So again, like I said, I have my pieces. And you know, if you finger fold them, it's great. But if you go ahead and use your bone folder, it gives you a really nice crisp edge and they will open up and lay flat. Um, and just a lot nicer. So, 
There's a couple of these that aren't quite an inch. And just because I had some leftover paper there and it was the right height, they're close to it. And it was just like, I'm not going to waste that. I'm using my scraps. Oh my gosh, y'all. I went crazy the other day. I mean, crazier than normal. I think I already did this one. Um, I couldn't find something. I know I had it and I thought I knew where I put it. <sighs> Mama done went to town about nine o'clock at night. I started pulling stuff out of this craft room, putting it in the living room started organizing going through boxes because I don't know if you guys ever do this but my desk was piled full I mean like crazy 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 full I just couldn't stand it anymore so I got a container raked it all in there and I've done that a couple of times actually so I had to sit down and go through those little containers um, and I was like oh that's where that is oh I was looking for this so anyway I still have some stuff in the living room not much but what I've been doing is going through the boxes and say, oh, here's a heartfelt die. Let's put it with a heartfelt. You know, here's this. Let's put it with, you know, it's partners. And so it was, anyway, I went from about 9 o'clock that night until about 2.30 that morning. I gave it up. And then I worked on it yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, and then, like I said, I have just a few things that I need to, you know, because this, the, my poor craft room was piled up. I'm, I'll give you just a little quick tour uh, later since it's <laughs> pretty clean for right now. We'll just see how long I can keep it that way. All right, so let's figure this out real quick. So we want an accordion style. Let me just snip these so we will be ready. Oh no, I'll do these. So we just miter the corners like that because it just, it looks better when you add these. It just looks better. And then I'm going to mat it so the mat will go over that little piece. Okay. Um, all right, so the first one, let me figure out the first one. So y'all are probably going, oh, do this, do this. Okay, let me just glue one down. And you can use score tape, which I think that's what I'm going to do. I had to think there for a minute. Do I have some score tape the size that I want? Yep. Oh, there goes the puppies. I need to guard the kingdom. I'm just still not convinced about the gargoyles and the moat taking care of us. And it would probably be best if you're going to use score tape to do this before you, um, ah, don't do that. Before you fold them, it'll just be, just, it'll be a little easier. Okay. All right. So we need to glue this down. Let's see. And then this one, bear with me here. Right. So we'll open like this. And then back and forth. So it will be like that. Oh, so it needs to go on this side, right? And then that one open out that way. Okay. I think I got it. All right. So one of my little tricks too, if while using, let me get my sorry for my arm there. Score tape, and you're worried about you know because once it's down, it's down. So what you can do is remove the backing, get rid of that. Take you any glue stick. I mean any glue stick. It can be from the Dollar Tree. It can be from wherever. And you're just going to go over your score tape once. Don't go back and forth, back and forth just one time and what that's going to do is allow you a second <laughs> that you didn't have two seconds um, to lift it up if you put it down I gotta think which way am I going that way no this way um, that'll give you a couple of seconds to lift up as long as you don't burnish it down right on the edge look you there and now that I did that of course I didn't need to yeah I always need to a little glue smuts in there okay so it's just right on the edge so we have a little hinge we'll add the next one and the next one and we'll just go back and forth back and forth okay so let me do that and I will be right back okay my crafty friends it's a new day I know I had to I had to give up the ghost I had to give it up I had to I don't know I think i got tired or something I don't remember but anyway so um, it is a new day literally okay 
I don't know why this was so hard for me. Um, it's accordion. I, I bet you four of these, three of them at least, I had to like peel off real fast and redo. I don't know what to do. And I still, it really should, this is the front. I put the little arrow up so I could kind of keep my bearings. But um, I really think it should open, you know, like this. But that's all the back side. So I did it like this. So, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, if I turned it over, I mean, it's still going to have to completely do. So anyway, be mindful and don't do what I did. Um, I don't even know what I did. But I think it, you know, should open like a book and then telescope out. And mine is going to open like that. I mean, it's still, it's just this front page. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, but I did write on there because it's going to be covered up anyway. Front with a little arrow so I could uh, try to keep my bearings. Okay, so um, when I make my journals, whether it's junk journals or albums or whatever I'm doing, and people ask me about it or I'm teaching a class, whatever, um, I mean, unless you're just phenomenal, um, which most of you are, I know. But um, when you have a lot of pages like this, I get things ready and then I will paper clip the pages together. So if I want this on here, what I'll do is just paper clip it and then go through, you know, paper clip this and that. And, you know, if I wanted this picture on here, I would paper clip that. And if I had some embellishments, I would just, you know, cut them out or whatever and just paper clip them on here. And then that way, when you do all that, then you can open it up and see because several times I had. Uh, I put the same color or like, you know, this one and this one together and I really didn't want that. Um, so that way you can kind of get a clear picture before you start gluing stuff down because let me tell you, I know. <laughs> I start gluing everything down and then I look at it and go, oh man, that, that would have looked so much better over here, you know, whatever. So that's always my number one piece of advice. Just paper clip everything together and then take a look at it if you're happy then just start gluing and you know we're all good um, so with this I had cut out these base pieces and then I cut out some solid pieces that matched um, and so I'm just gonna go through and play and see if I want you know like a solid I mean a, um, a pattern paper and then a solid do I want kind of matchy matchy like that um, you know do I want something like that so um, I'm going to go through and just play with this and kind of see. And, you know, what do I always say? It's like getting dressed. You have your little black skirt or uh, your black slacks. Find your blouse, your shoes, your purse, your jewelry. And sometimes nothing matches the blouse. So you change the blouse so you can wear this jewelry. It's kind of one of those things. So we have our little black skirt right here. So now we just have to accessorize it, make it all beautiful. So I'm going to go through and play. I also cut out, I just thought these were kind of funky and fun since it's for a teenager, um, to put on the front of the box. That's going to go on the back side, but kind of make a, I, mean, I have some best friend stickers or whatever, but I just thought these were super cute. Like I said, they're funky and I cut them out of different colors and we'll kind of make an arrangement and yes, yeah, some of them we, you know, covered up, but we'll do a little collage on the front. I may even cut out some letters and spell her name or something. Um, but, um, Anyway, I just thought those were really cute and kind of funky. Um, and then I went ahead and laid out some ribbon because this has got to get, <laughs> you got to get control of that. So if I didn't lay this out, I was going to forget because I need to glue this down first and then put my paper on top so you don't see it. Okay, that's one of those things, like I said, paper clip everything together and then you can kind of go over in your head what you need don't need and then it's like oh don't forget the ribbon and then be sure and put that underneath and then you can tie this closed um you could even wrap it around a couple of times whatever closure you want to do but i laid this out so hopefully you guys help me remember hopefully don't forget that because like i said we've got to get a handle on this crazy thing all right well let me let me play with this and see what i come up with because i have these i don't know if i'm going to use them or not um i have a bunch more over there so um let me just play with a little bit and i will be back Okay, I know, I know. You know how I talk about the little black dress, I mean the little black skirt, black pants, and then changing everything. Okay, oh, 
I just had to change my blouse and change everything else. Okay. Well, I was doing this. Okay. Really cute. I was putting down the different colors and everything. Then I was printing the pictures with my little sprocket here, my little HP sprocket. Okay. Well, you can go in there and edit the pictures and stuff. Well, then I found that they have little borders. Oh my God. They're so stinking cute. So I had this picture and we were out of uh, their drinking hot chocolate. This was after the drive through of the Christmas lights. So it was a white border and it had snowflakes on it. It was really cute. It wouldn't print. So I got out, went back in, wouldn't print with the border. I tried tech support and you know, you do the little live chat or whatever. Well, Miguel or whoever popped up and said, hi, how can I help you? So I said, okay, it prints fine. Brand new printer and everything. But when I add the borders, it won't print. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Nothing happened. I'm like, hello, after five minutes, nothing. So you can rate them. So I gave him a thumbs down. I made the little comment. <laughs> Nobody will talk to me. Um, I even went on the search, you know, their little website, the hpsprocket.com website. And I, I, you know, where you um, do the little um, help search. Well, so I typed it in, hit search, and nothing happened. I did like three times. I got out, went back in. I don't know what's going on. So I'm like, got to get this down. Done. Duh. -huh. So I was thinking, <laughs> instead of having it all, you know, this pretty spring paper, I have this. I was, um, it was some kit. Uh, I even forget the name of the company. Anyway, so they sent you stuff every month or I, I don't know how long. But anyway, so on there, um, they, they would send you like, instead of a whole pad of paper, they would send you like four or five pieces and then a bunch of other embellishments and stuff. Um, it was really cute, really fun, great when it went on, but I didn't use all these. So I have all of this. Oh, I'm always saying use your scraps. So I have all of this with all these different subjects. I mean, cooking, farm, oh, music, oh, I need that one. Okay, um, they're pretty plaid. I, I mean, all these different subjects. Well, I'm thinking, okay. Ah, avalanche. Okay, so it's time to change the blouse and the accessories. Okay, so we have hot chocolate and it's a Christmassy, so the little Christmas background. So I'll cut these out, replace them in there. Then this was an awards banquet here. So we have the little awards things yes and then this was celebrating a birthday so i have birthday paper <gasps> get where i'm going with this oh my gosh so then this was um the winter formal winter dance so i have like something sparkly or something i could i could do uh, i have like summer paper and then <laughs> this one is so cute so this is a sticker oh can you see so this they're in their jammies because we were going to a christmas drive through light thing and eat drink hot chocolate so we wore our jammies and then friends to the end. Anyway, I thought that was so cute. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut out, you know, the themes and do that and just replace all of that. Uh, I know, more work, but I thought it'd be so much fun because it won't print with the borders until I figure that out. Uh, anyway, but then I was thinking, you know, with the borders, the, the Christmassy thing, and then you put it on something like this, it really wouldn't go. So I'm just doing this. A little more cutting, no big deal. What do you think? I, I know. Okay, uh, I got to Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I am having so much fun. This is one of my best ideas ever. Thank goodness I came up with it before I, I did, I glued all this down because, uh, see, you paper clip it together. And then if you decide to change your mind, oh my gosh, I would have had to cut all this again. So now I just take paper clips off and replace it with this. Oh my God, this is so stinking fun. And I'm loving this little machine. Look, this one just printed out. And I picked the paper because it's kind of like raindrops, you know, kind of, I mean, loosely. I did this one. This is the raindrops. But they were at a football game. It came a downpour. And, of course, they didn't go for shelter. They were out in it. AJ was so wet when she got in my car. I mean, she was dripping. Her clothes were dripping. They, I mean, when I pulled up, the kids were hooping and hollering and were having the best time. They were all just dripping wet, literally. She got in my car and I was like, I can't believe I didn't bring a trash sack or a towel or something. My seat was soaked. Uh, I should have just made her ride on the roof or something, but they had so much fun. So this is from them being silly. This is from that football game. So hence the, the little raindrops. And then um, trying on glasses at the landing, having fun. So it's just fun, fun paper. Um, this was at... Uh, the winter formal so we've got a little bling um, this was an award show 
so I mean awards banquet kind of thing so hence the the award I mean this is and then a little it was birthday surprise so I am loving this this little machine is worth its weight in gold so I'm so and I this paper remembering that I had all of this this was brilliant I mean you know I've had this for I don't know how long and it's like what am I gonna do with this and it's been moved here it's been moved there and I'm like perfect I mean her, I'm finding something for every event, every mood. This has just worked out perfect. So I'm still cutting. I'm going to glue the pictures or as their stickers. I'm going to stick them on there and then um, we'll start arranging them and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, it's down to the wire. I got to get this done. I got to get it done. It's pretty much all laid out. See, everything's paper clipped together. I had to move the pictures around some. That's why you paper clip them together. And then even the embellishments. Like that. And I'll add a little bit more once I get everything glued down. But anyway, let's get this done. I gotta do the front. There, I need this to stay down. Stay down. I went ahead, the little box that it's gonna be in, I went ahead and lined the sides with pink because she likes pink. And then this, I don't know if it matters which way. I think I'm gonna do this way. We can lay this out flat. This is gonna go on the top. We're gonna have some flowers and a sticker. It's gonna go on the back. All right. Lord have mercy, y'all. I am D U N done. Stick a fork in me. It's oh, I got it done. All right. Let's take a little gander at this. So here's the outside. It has a little closure, which I, I didn't close it, but anyway, it has a little tabby right there and it fits inside of that one then you open it up and then here's the little album this is what the little box looks like I'll set that aside and wouldn't you know I set my ribbon out so I wouldn't forget to I forgot I forgot I was gonna glue it underneath this so you wouldn't see it I forgot so I put a little eyelet there, little brad, little eyelet, and then just ran some ribbon through there, so it worked out. I mean, it's fine, but really, after I kept putting it right where I could, anyway. All right, let's take a little, little peek at this little beauty. I'm so proud of this. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to go through it just kind of quickly. I just thought this turned out so cute. Like the expression on their face. I don't know what they were talking about, but that's the yes, no, maybe. Who knows what they were talking about. They always have such a good time. And then, we're not done. Then you just keep on going to this side. See, the paper. Did y'all notice the paper? Much better idea than keeping it all, you know, the same, from the same paper pad. So we'd have the fun little fruits, because they're acting like fruit cakes, And then the the sky because it's all pretty there and then just the bricks because I don't know what they're doing and then this was an awards banquet so we have the awards so see I'm just I'm proud of myself for you know catching that and so we have the little shiny there because this was at a quinceanera which was a formal occasion and then I just thought that was cool and this was a this was at a um, football game where just the downpour so hence the raindrops and this kind of looks like raindrops sort of and then this was uh, celebrating a surprise birthday. And this was the winter formal. And then this was a quinceanera. And this was at Shepherd of the Hills for Christmas. Going to see the lights. You know, the little lights, the candy stripes. And then I love this picture. Walking out into the night. Friends to the end. I'm just so proud of this. I just thought this turned out so cute. Can't wait to give it to her. So... It's done. I'm all excited. But I just I just thought this turned out so good. All right. Well, I hope this inspires you to do something. Whatever it may be, I hope it inspires you. And um, thanks for um, hanging out with me while I crazily <laughs> put this together. So uh, until next time, bye for now.